What's going on, everybody? Yeah, the Iceman here on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel on this very, very early, early Saturday morning um, in the middle of the night. But tomorrow night we have WWE Battleground pay per view. Well, the card is not real impressive, but it is what it is for SmackDown Live. Um, but anyway, let's get to it. Sami Zayn versus Mike Kanellis. Now, aka Mike Bennett, who had come into the WWE along with Maria after leaving uh, Impact Wrestling. A lot of things went down there. But anyway, they're now in the WWE. Uh, this will be Mike's first pay-per-view. Uh, he's already defeated Sami Zayn. Um, I look for him to end up defeating him once again. Zayn pretty popular with the fans, but the WWE wanting to push Mike Kanellis right off the get-go. So look for Kanellis to win this match. We have Shinsuke Nakamura against Baron Corbin. This is one of those matches. Now, Corbin is the holder of the Money in the Bank briefcase contract. Nakamura a very, very popular wrestler here in the WWE. This is one of those deals where you're not sure what's going to happen. You know, you got Corbin with the contract. You're trying to push him. Are you going to slow that push down and have Nakamura beating, beat him, which would make him less worthy, possibly, of going after a champion if you can't beat Nakamura? Um, and on the other hand, if Corbin does defeat Nakamura, it slows down his push and his popularity a little bit. Um, so this is a toss-up. Um, I'm going to go with Baron Corbin to win this match. Now, you have the Women's Championship number one contendership match. It is a fatal five-way elimination. We have Charlotte Flair versus Becky Lynch versus Natalia versus Lana versus Tamina Nasnoka. You look at these five. Now, Lana's already had uh, like three matches against Naomi for the SmackDown Women's Championship, and she had failed on all three. Becky Lynch has held the title, she was the initial title holder. Natalia, well, she goes on her reputation. Tamina Snuka. Well, we all know who she is. Charlotte, I see signs of turning heel, which she should be anyway, because she is a better heel. I don't like her either way, but I see Charlotte coming out on top of this match, turning heel, um, and using underhanded ways to finally get her chance to become SmackDown Women's Champion. So, there you have it there. Tag Team Championship. The Usos the Champions versus The New Day. The rivalry's been good so far. I don't think it it's going to slow down anytime soon. But, I see The Usos finding a way to retain, because I think this match is going to be set up for SummerSlam, where the titles will change. So look for the Usos to retain the titles at Battle Round tomorrow night. Now, AJ Styles just recently became the United States Champion over Kevin Owens at Madison Square Garden. This is a rematch. Don't see a change here. Um, because it wouldn't make any sense. I see AJ continuing his popularity on SmackDown Live, becoming a face, and uh, pretty much holding on to this belt for a bit longer. Maybe a bit longer than what we might think. So, look for uh, AJ to hold on. Now, the WWE title match. Champion Jinder Mahal in a Pujambi prison match against Randy Orton. If anybody thinks Jinder Mahal is losing at Battleground, you're crazy. 
And it's not going to happen. It's a tease. And I think this puts an end to the match between Mahal and Orton. I've gone back, all the way back to January, with this WWE title, where AJ held it and lost to John Cena, only to lose it two months, uh, two weeks later, at Elimination Chamber. This has been such a screw-up, really, since. Because they have Cena win the belt, Orton win the Royal Rumble. They knew you couldn't have another Cena and Randy Orton match because we've seen so many in the past. It was too soon, maybe five years down the road if they're both around. It's like a, uh, you know, an alumni match, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, Randy Orton's not going to win this match. Jinder Mahal's going to retain the title. And if anything, Jinder Mahal will lose at SummerSlam. So, you know, we're going to have Brizongo on the show, whether or not they're going to have a match or not. Um, we'll wait and see. Uh, there will be a pre-show match, which I don't care about. This whole card could be good if they did it right. But realistically, if you look up and down this card, because it is the pay-per-view before SummerSlam, it is very, I mean, very, very predictable. I would be very surprised if certain titles changed hands right before SummerSlam, because to me it wouldn't make any sense. But then again, has the WWE really made much sense lately? I don't know. You tell me. So anyway, those are my thoughts. Those are my predictions. We'll see what the outcome is after tomorrow night. See you all next time. This is the Iceman. Peace out.